Welcome to Ingeniero.org. In this video, I'll discuss the International System of Units or commonly known as SI Units. The International System of Units, known with the international abbreviation as SI, is the modern form of the metric system and the world's most widely used system of measurement. The International System of Unit is established in 1960 and periodically updated since then. SI is an abbreviation of the French word Systeme International. SI units play a vital role in scientific, engineering and technological research and development. SI is necessary to ensure that our everyday measurements and engineering calculations remain comparable and consistent worldwide. Standardizing such measurements not only helps to keep them consistent and accurate, but also helps society have confidence in information. For instance, mass is measured every day, and having agreement on the definition of the kilogram means that consumers can trust that the shop is really providing the mass they say they are. Equally, having reliable information on industrial plants, structure constructions, climate change, pollution and medical diagnostics is important to society and builds trust and allows effective decisions to be made. The SI units is made up of seven base units which are used for defining 22 derived units. The SI base units are the standard units of measurement defined by the International System of Units for the seven base quantities of what is now known as the International System of Quantities. They are notably a basic set from which all other SI units can be derived. The SI base units are a fundamental part of modern metrology, and thus part of the foundation of science and technology. The SI base units form a set of mutually independent dimensions as required by dimensional analysis commonly employed in science, engineering and technology. The base units and their physical quantities are the second for time, the meter for length or distance, the kilogram for mass, the ampere for electric current, the kelvin for thermodynamic temperature, the mole for amount of substance, and the candela for luminous intensity. Rapid advances in science and technology in the 19th and 20th centuries fostered the development of several overlapping systems of units of measurements as scientists improvised to meet the practical needs of their disciplines. They added three new units, among many others, in 1948 such as a unit of force, the Newton, which is defined as that force which gives to a mass of 1 kilogram an acceleration of 1 meter per second per second, then, a unit of energy, called as the joule, which is defined as the work done when the point of application of a Newton is displaced 1 meter in the direction of the force. And a unit of power, named the watt, which is the power that in one second gives rise to energy of 1 joule. All three units are named from eminent scientists. The SI is intended to be an evolving system, units and prefixes are created and unit definitions are modified through international agreement as the technology of measurement progresses and the precision of measurements improves. Here are the other SI-derived units that you may encounter in physics, chemistry or engineering. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you learn a lot. See you again on our next video.